of people have been financially, of course, blindsided by the pandemic, Karen. Yesterday, we introduced you to a local couple unable to pay their rent and facing possible eviction. Some generous Metro Detroiters were watching, giving Victor Williams the chance to bring us this uplifting update. Well, if you saw this story yesterday, you'd know that this man was at the end of his rope. He had nowhere to go for him or his family. But thanks to a few strangers reaching out, it looks like his situation is going to be turning around. Yesterday, uh, it was really uh, no light. That was the mindset of Marty Parks and his wife Shira just 24 hours ago. But finally, he can now see that light at the end of the tunnel once again. Turned out good. A lot of people been reaching out. A lot of people been helping. After the story aired, multiple people reached out from all over the country looking to help Marty, his wife, and their three kids. They're from Detroit. Right. But they just been reaching out and trying to help. But the question remains, why would Marty's landlord make eviction threats when there is an executive order preventing them? According to lawyer Todd Russell Perkins, none of this was supposed to happen. Evictions of individuals from either rental property or, or mobile homes um, is suspended until at the earliest May 15th right now. With that being said, Marty is looking into taking legal action, but wants to give his landlord the chance to redeem himself. To see if he want to make make it right but if not then you know it's time to move forward help each other as much as possible especially during this coronavirus epidemic and marty tells me that once he's able to get back on his feet he's hoping to pay it forward and help people who are in his situation victor williams local four yeah, we we're pretty sure people would come through and they did once again most definitely yeah today's been uh, pretty nice outside